Hello! Last time we made Art Nouveau um, with metal and cardboard, the tinfoil and cardboard. I'm going to go back to my sketches, but this time I want to make a sculpture, um, an Art Nouveau sculpture. So what we're going to use is recycled bottles, they come in different shapes and sizes. What I've got is I've got two, I've washed them and I've cleaned them. And what I'm going to do is make sure that the top one goes into the, see the top of that goes into there. So now I'm going to start creating my sculpture. So I'm going to use my inspiration from my plants. So I'm going to quickly draw out some leaves. And as you see, I'm just quickly drawing them out. These are all one size of leaves. But the more complex you make it, the more time it will take. Um, so I'm just quickly getting those drawn out. And there. So all the way around, I've got my leaves and they're all joining. So I'm going to cut them out. One way of cut, starting it is get a chopping board and maybe a kitchen knife and just basically poke into your bottle. You might get an adult to do this. Once you've got it started, you're off. So what I'm going to do now is quickly cut around my leaves. Be as accurate as you want. So all I'm doing is just going round and round. Sorry about the noise. I'm going to cut, cut. And cut. You could cut the top of the bottom off first if you want, uh, but I'm going to keep my bottom on. My bottle. Quickly go around, boom, 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 cutting away. Take your time when you're making yours. Going around, chopping away. You get all that funny noise. Oh, I'm just cutting around the lines that I've drawn, and it's up to you how accurate you want to be. So I'll go round and round, round and round, nearly there. It doesn't look like anything at the moment, but when we finally get this last bit cut out, whoops, and then look back in. I'm just going too fast for my own good, I think. Uh, so here we go, round and round. The last one is. Here. So now that I've cut out, and I could go back and be neater and things like that if I had the time, I've now got a leaf shapes in my bottle. And I've also got, and you might want to keep this, and this is why I didn't cut the bottom off, you've got that as a freestanding sculpture that you could do, do work with. What you can then do is get your second bottle and do exactly the same. So I'm going to draw out, draw out my leaves. This one's got a handle. I do like the milk bottles because they're opaque, semi-opaque, and you've got a different quality when you come to joining them together. So I'm drawing around that. Again, repeat, stab, cut, and then I've cut it out. And now I've got my two. This one's slightly more complicated. And then what I can do is then I can put that one into that one. And that can hang with a piece of um, string, and um, you can hang that in the garden or hang it in your bedroom. Or you might say to yourself, tell you what, let's paint it. So I've got some that I've painted. I've just used any old household paint that I found in the garage and pop some paint on it. And then you can then insert this one into here and pull. If it's a bit tight and it doesn't work, then a good thing to do is get your bottle and cut all the way up to the neck of your inner bottle and that will then compress and go together like so and that will then squeeze up and then you've got a beautiful sculpture here of your plant and what I've done to go back to my Art Nouveau put some silver foil and you could cover the whole thing in silver foil if you wanted but I just put the tips in and this could go into the garden in a plant pot like lovely like that or, as I said, it could hang beautifully and whisper, make sounds in the wind. Thank you.